This lesson will show how to use Desmos.com to round numbers. As examples, we will round 5,748 and 3,964 ten thousandths to the ones, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place value. Let's begin by identifying the rounding place value. The eight is in the ones place value. Because of the three to the right, we round down. The three is in the tenths place value. Because of the nine to the right, we round up. The nine is in the hundredths place value. Because of the six to the right, we round up. And finally, the six is in the thousandths place value. Because of the four to the right, we round down. And now let's find the rounded values using Desmos.com. To do this, go to Desmos.com and click Graphing Calculator. In cell one, we can type in round from the keyboard, or we can open the Desmos keypad by clicking the Show Keypad button in the lower left-hand corner, click Functions, click Miscellaneous, and click Round. Now, when entering the number, we can't enter the commas, and therefore we enter 5748.3964. Again, if we place a comma between the five and the seven, this function won't work. Now by default, if we stop here, the numbers run into the ones place value, which we can see on the right is 5,748. The other option is to enter a comma zero, indicating we want the number run into zero decimal places or the ones place value. Notice how entering the closed parenthesis is optional. If we press enter, the closed parenthesis is automatically added. Now because of rounding the same number multiple times, we could simply copy and paste the information in cell one and then change the zero to one, two, and then three. Or we can also click in cell one, click the gear, and then click duplicate three times. Notice how it populates cell two through cell four with the same information. And now we can go to cell two and change the zero to a one which will round the number to the tenths place value, or one decimal place. Let's go ahead and close the Desmos keypad. In cell three, we will change the zero to two, which should round the number to two decimal places, or the hundredths place value. But notice in this case, we do have a little bit of an issue. We are given the value 5,748.4, but it really should be 0 .40, indicating we round it to the hundredths place value. So that is one issue I found when using this rounding feature. And then we'll go to cell four and change the zero to a three, which will run the number to three decimal places or the thousandths place value. And now let's record this information in our work. Run into the ones, we have 5,748. Running to the tenths, we have 5,748.4. Running to the hundredths, Desmos gave us the same value of 5,700. 48.4, which is the correct value, but not in the correct form. For running to the hundredths place value or two decimal places, a rounded value must have two decimal places, and therefore we do have to include a zero in the hundredths place value. Without the zero here, we would need to assume the number was rounded to the tenths place value, not the hundredths. And then finally, run into the thousandths place value, we have 5,748. 0.396. I hope you found this helpful.